Yo, 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 man. With everything that's going on in the group, just wanted to come and teach you, man, a primal scream. Uh, so, bowel cancer is the biggest killer of men. Um, so, our bowel region, our lower three chakras, the first chakra, the base chakra, that is about our needs as uh, shelter, food, um, money. And so, a lot of our anger and frustration around being the provider is stored in that area. Plus then the sacral chakra is all around our feelings and our emotions, um, which is in behind the belly button. And then the solar flex chakra is all about the mental capacity, our self-confidence and how we um, think and perceive ourselves. So these lower three chakras, this is where men store anger. And that's why across the planet, bowel cancer is the biggest killer of men across the planet. So you don't know how to release anger effectively. We've been growing up with our dads, possibly like mine, who was a tyrant. And so we, he used his hands and he was very violent. And so um, we, I and a lot of other men have grown up on the polar of that. And so we don't want to express anger. We're scared of this raw masculine power because we all have this beast inside of us that can kill somebody, that can rip somebody's throat out, and we don't know how to harness that energy. So with energy, when it gets stuck in the, in the bowel and it gets stored in the body, it's like these little pebbles, and literally, you can detox these and piss them out. It's actually like compressed little balls of energy. And so any trauma that happens um, that is like the very first one, it will keep trends stacking on top of each other. I uh, use an example of uh, the very first time my, my dad was uh, violent, the last time my dad was violent. There's a lot of trauma around that. And so every single time that I didn't use my voice, any single time I saw a man's rage and I didn't use my voice, it kept trends stacking on top of each other until inside of here end up being like a boulder. And so what we want to do as men is Morning. release, hey buddy, how are you? Not bad is release boulders. We want to be able to get away and chip these boulders. And this primal scream is going to shift this energy and move this energy. Know that it may crack them in half, and it may need to examine both those halves. It may crack in a few pieces, it may just disintegrate it. So just know that the primal scream is going to shift some and move some energy, might bring some more stuff up, and we can talk about that in the group if it does. Um, so if you've seen a zebra in the wild, um, so this is, a, a primal scream is a somatic release process. And so if you see a zebra in the wild, a zebra um, may get hit by a lion, and, but the zebra survives. So he'll run away. When he gets to a safe place, the zebra will then shake somatically from head to tail, somatically shake off all of that trauma, and then just trot back to the herd like nothing happened. All animals do this, other than humans. We don't go through this somatic release process. So somatically releasing, we're gonna tap back into that subconsciously, and because the mind doesn't know the difference between the reality that we see or when we're eyes are shut in the reality we see in our mind. So we can tap back into that stored emotion, that experience, and from that place, we'll let the scream go. The scream comes from the belly, it doesn't come from your throat. If you come from your throat, you'll, you'll actually lose your voice, you'll blow your throat box out. So you're screaming from where we're storing this energy. So feet, nice shoulder width apart. Uh, after this video too, after this video, I'd like you to do one live into the Facebook group, um, and then afterwards, do exactly what I do. Talk about what emotion is in the body alive for you right now. So standing with your feet shoulder width apart, you're gonna start talking about, you can start thinking about an experience that happened when you're a kid, you can something that happened a month ago. It could be something that um, you're dealing with in this moment. It might be frustration with your partner or your children. And so, rather than bring <laughs> my partner is on the other end of this camera, and she's poked her tongue out at me. So, rather than directing this anger, you'll see how far we can go. This anger towards them and channeling into them. We can come into nature. Mother E, she can hold it. Um, nature underwater in a pillow in a car but we can just release this effectively and then move on with life um, because we clean up this or clear energetic real estate feet shoulder width apart stay at start like this start thinking about that experience whatever happened at those, those the event the experience you may start to feel your hands starting to move as you start tapping back into that and then you just scream from this region here man not your throat from here
So now, it's about self-regulation. This is where we get the father of the beast, be with that inner boy. Coming back to the breath, coming back to this present moment. A lot of sadness behind my one today. Oh. Yeah, so <clears throat> on the other side of anger, <laughs> there can be sadness. And so now this sadness, I'm going to look into and see where it's coming from. And if I need to cry, I'll have a cry, but I'll move through and feel and be with <clears throat> all of the emotion. On the other side of that sadness, maybe joy, maybe something else. So, like I said, there's something else that has opened up for me, which is beautiful. But I needed to move through that anger first to get to this place of, oh, there's some sadness there. Um, so yeah, brothers, do one into the group. <coughs> and then afterwards, talk about what's alive in your body. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps. Um, Berta, uh, Brian, shift and move some of that stagnant energy. Much love, brothers. Yeah.